to talk about Technodance S4M Brightsimeter. But before we can get started with our calibration, we need to make sure that we have everything on hand that we'll need. The first thing that you should have is your calibration kit. Inside that calibration kit, you'll find five sets of calibration standards. There should be a 50, a 60, a 70, an 80, and a 90. The next thing that you should have are your opal standards. And the last thing you'll find in your calibration kit are your traceability and your verification forms. The next thing that you should have that came with your instrument is your one kilogram weight. And you'll also need an opal working standard. Finally, the last thing that you'll need is a cleaning solution and a non-abrasive, non-optically bright and cleaning wipe. Once you have all these things together, we're ready to go ahead and get started. For our first step, we'll need our primary standards, which are our 70 standards. You can go ahead and move this front sheet back, and we're going to load it so that the dash marks on either side of the one line up with the white lines, and we'll load our one kilogram weight. Now you want the number on the display to match the first brightness value on the 70 standard printout. In order to get those numbers equal to each other, you can hold down the calibrate button and use the up and down arrows. We can take our standard off and we're going to load an opal standard. The number on the display should read with them plus or minus 0.2 of the number on the opal standard. If it's not, you'll need to refer to your operator's manual for further instructions. My display is reading 86.0 and my standard is 86.1, so I can go on and move to the next step. I'm going to load my working standard, and you can write the value on display underneath brightness next to today's date, and your calibration is complete. To verify measurement linearity, you can take the remaining four sets of verification standards and measure each of the five positions across the standard. If you take the average of those five positions, it should be within plus or minus 0.3 of the average on the printout. If it's not, or if you have any other questions, you can refer to your Technodyne Operator's Manual, you can call Technodyne, or you can check out the website. <laughs>